Hello and welcome to today's session in Business Analytics. I am Rajesh Durbala, your instructor for this session and I have been teaching this course Business Analytics for the past few years. I have been working in various universities and I have conducted several workshops in different institutions related to this course. So today we will have a session in which we will be learning the simple formatting, sorting and conditional formatting in Excel. Okay. So are you excited? I am very excited for this session. Okay. Let's move ahead. So what are we going to learn today? We will be able to learn to sort data in Excel, to use conditional formatting tools and the effective use of data bars in Excel. Okay. Now let's see how to proceed. Now sorting data in Excel. It's very simple. These are certain steps. If you wish, you can note it down. But I would like to, I, uh, I would prefer to just do it and show it to you. Okay. For example, let us say in step five, in the first sort by drop down menu, select the sales in March. Now let us do, let us experiment. Forget about the question. If you wish, you can take down the steps. You can pause the video and take down the steps. Okay. So this is the data set I'll be working on. Now, how to go ahead with this? Now, let us say I am just highlighting all the columns that I have. Okay. I have these columns. Now, what simply I need to do is I'll just apply some filters. Okay. See, the moment I apply certain filters, I'll just zoom it so that you will be able to see. The moment I apply certain filters, or should I show it to you once again how to apply the filters? I think that would be better. Okay. First, I'll zoom it in, then I'll show it to you. See, this is the data. Okay. I've just highlighted the entire data and I am teaching you how to apply filters. Okay. Now, if you see in this home tab, you come down, you have this icon that is sort and filter. Okay. Click over here and you will get a tab which is filter the moment i apply you will see some drop down arrows appearing in the headers of all the columns okay this is the label okay i find this drop down this is the label for this column i find this drop down this is the label for this column i find this drop down okay so first let us say i want to filter this okay i want to sort this if I click this, okay, first of all, I would like to see smallest to largest, okay. So let us say smallest sort, smallest to largest. So I click on this. You can see that my entire data gets shuffled, and in 2010, the data has been arranged according to smallest to largest. Isn't this interesting? Okay, so you can see the data is arranged from smallest to largest okay so one more thing you see the moment i apply a filter there is an arrow that appears this shows that some filter has been applied you can see that there is an arrow over here there is no arrow here 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 or here so even if you just keep this or save this file like this just by looking at this arrow, you should be able to understand that some filter has been applied here. Okay. So let us say I'm removing this filter. Okay. The arrow vanishes. Now, let us say I apply an arrow over 2011 sales. I just want to sort this one from largest to smallest. Okay. In the previous one, we did smallest to largest. Now I'll do largest to smallest. Okay. So you can see there is another arrow that's appearing here. Okay. Now see the sales are declining. They are going down. Okay. So this row is sorted. Uh, rather this column is sorted. Okay. I'll again bring it back to the normal. So this is how we do the sorting. Now just let us say if I just want to see the manufactured models by Toyota, then I go to the manufacturer, I unselect all, I click on Toyota, okay, okay. So Toyota is manufacturing only Camry, Corolla and 
Prius. So these are the sales in March and these are the sales in 2010 March. Okay, and you can see here some filter has been applied. So are you able to cope up with this? Fine. So I'll again bring my file back to the normal. Okay. So no changes have been made right now. Okay. You can see there are no filters anywhere. Okay. So this is again my original data. So I hope you have understood how to apply my sort and filter options. Okay. Moving ahead. Now let us I have taught you both sorting and filtering. Okay. So sorting was ascending and descending filtering is according to the manufacturer right let's move ahead now we'll do some conditional formatting okay now how to go ahead with conditional formatting what are we trying to do now let us say for instance if i want to see immediately where did the sales pick up or did the sales drop just by looking at the file okay just by looking at the file i need to know if the sales have increased or decreased from 2010 to 2011 how can i do it okay now just let us say i will create another column percentage increase okay so if i'm talking about percentage increase just put in a small formula equals to the new sales i'll put it in brackets i love brackets okay so new sales minus old sales okay into 100 divided by old sales okay so this will give me percentage increase clear enough new sales minus old sales divided by old sales multiplied by 100 that gives me percentage increase okay so this gives me 15.44 percent okay i just click it down i have all the sales featuring i think i've used this file sometime earlier so i will clear the formatting okay i just cleared again i'll do it for you percentage increase okay now is equal to i'll open the parenthesis new sales minus old sales parenthesis close into 100 divided by old sales hit enter okay now i again i'm getting these colors so nothing to worry about that just i go to conditional formatting i'll remove all okay right now you can see i have all the values let us decrease the okay now i'll just have two decimal places let us say okay so i bring it down to two decimal places i want percentage to be appearing for all again i'll go to right click okay format cells I click on percentage I say okay I get percentages okay can you see there is a problem that's coming just because I have multiplied it with 100 in the formula so that is exaggerating the value if I remove this 100 and then put percentage things would be normal okay now you can see now i want the percentage to appear i go format cell i click on percentage I say okay now you can see I have proper percentages right that's awesome now just by looking at it I see there are some minus signs so that makes things simple but I want them to be 
highlighted so it creates a visual impact okay now how to do it in this home tab i come over here i can find something conditional formatting i click on this i say highlight cell rules i want to be something that is less than okay if let us say something if the sales have gone down i just want to see those sales if the sales are going down then it has to be below zero right difference should be less than zero so it has to be negative so i go to less than less than i say zero percent okay i say okay so these are the cells which have less than zero percent which are highlighted now you can see in this cell this is giving me some weird rules just because the original sales there were zero zero sales so okay zero minus anything divided by zero will give me a weird value okay so obviously there was no sales so you can ignore this this is anyway positive i'm not concerned about this okay so this is how i can create a visual impact using conditional formatting right so these are the steps if you wish you can pause it down and you can take down the notes for the steps okay then we will create data bars okay how to create data bars these are the steps so once you look into these steps we can go ahead okay now let us say i just want to do something related to data bars i go to conditional formatting i go to data bars i select any color of my choice okay that is the steps so let us say i'm highlighting this column i go i say data bars i like this color it doesn't work okay so you can see how it's creating a visual impact okay so it just by looking at it it gives me a rough idea of the percentage okay so this creates a visual impact if you want you can change the color and let us say in d i will use green i go to data bars i create green okay you can see this is how we create data bars isn't this interesting these are some super features in excel which you know makes excel much superior to any other spreadsheet program available i love this excel so i hope you have also enjoyed learning a lot about these two interesting features of conditional formatting and data bars so you can get in touch with me you can follow me on linkedin facebook twitter and uh, you can write to me directly my email id is rajeshdurbala at gmail.com you have been a great audience thank you for your attention